Somebody told me that last year you sold over one million books. That's uh, incredible. I think, it, yeah, I, yeah, I think so. We're close to, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know, the first, uh, when Random House took the book over, the, the first book over was in 1967. Uh, mm, and since that time, I think we, we're close to, we're on our way to three million now, somewhere near three million. That's it's frightening. <laughs> I never, nice, though, uh, I never thought that would happen, but I'm very pleased and gratified that it did. One of your most important and popular works is a cat named Sloopy. Yes, that's. Uh, how, I did guess, that, how did that come about? Well, uh, it's really an amalgamation of two cats. One called a marvelous cat. What? A marvelous cat was the cat's name, and the other one was named Sloopy. And um, Sloopy had um, one yellow eye and one, uh, one blue eye. Was a, a Persian or something, and. Uh, <laughs> I was completely deaf, and uh, I was very attached to the cat. I, was, I had the cat at the time when I was living in New York and feeling very sorry for myself, and I was very broken. I hated the city and everybody, and the cat was very nice to me. As a matter of fact, uh, um, they tell me the title for a very important movie came out of the poem, Midnight Cowboy, as it um, was one of the lines in the thing. Would, and it was would, first would you do it for us? Sure. Rod, Rod yeah. McEwen. For a while, the only earth that Sloopy knew was in her sandbox. Two rooms on 55th Street were her domain. Every night she'd sit in the window among the avocado plants, waiting for me to come home. My arms full of canned liver and love. We'd talk into the night then, contented, but missing something. She, the earth she never knew. Me, the hills I ran while growing bent. Sloopy should have been a cowboy's cat with prairies to run, not linoleum. And real live catnip mice. No one to depend on but herself. I never told her, but in my mind, I was a midnight cowboy even then. Riding my imaginary horse down 42nd Street, going off with strangers to live an hour-long cowboy's life, but always coming home to Sloopy, who loved me best. A dozen summers we lived against the world, an island on an island. She'd comfort me with purring. I'd fatten her with smiles. We grew rich on trust, needing not the beach or butterflies. I had a friend named Ben who painted buildings like Ruald men. He went away. My laughter tired Lillian after a time. She found a man who only smiled. But Sloopy stayed and stayed. Winter, 1959. Old men walked their dogs. Summer walks so often that their feet leave little pink tracks in the soft gray snow. Women, fur on fur, elegant and easy, only slightly pure, hailing cabs to take them round the block and back. Who is not a love seeker when December comes? Even children pray to Santa Claus. I had my own love safe at home. Yet I stayed out all one night, the next day, too. They must have thought me crazy, screaming, Sloopy, Sloopy, as the snow came falling down around me. I was a madman to have stayed away one minute more than the appointed hour. I'd like to think a golden cowboy snatched her from the windowsill. And safely saddled back, she rode to Arizona. She's stalking lizard in the cactus now, perhaps. Bitter, but free. I'm bitter, too. 
and not a free man anymore. But once upon a time, in New York's jungle, in a tree, before I went into the world in search of other kinds of love, nobody owned me but a cat named Sloopy. Looking back, perhaps she's been the only human thing that ever gave back love to me. We'll be right back.